Hey, um, I'm Clara Jessup. I'm the project coordinator for the Bay Area Carnivore Livestock Interactions Project, or Bay Clip for short, which is here in the Santa Cruz Mountains on the central coast of California. This project is in collaboration with the rangeland community in the area, made with ranchers in mind to research coexistence with pumas I was really excited to come work on this particular project with Panthera because I have a background in uh, wildlife human conflict um, and I'm interested in projects that particularly look at solutions in actionable ways to promote coexistence. Part of our project is testing different deterrents on the market to see how effective they are. So as you can see here, we have um, turboflagery set up, which is an electric line of fencing with red flagging hanging down. Turboflagery has been used and shown to be quite effective at reducing wolf livestock conflict. They don't like the fluttering in the wind and something that's new in their environment. The electrified aspect of the turboflagery is to um, reinforce a negative stimulus that this is not a location that they should be looking to go into. So we're looking to see if this is also an effective tool with pumas. The voltage of the turboflagery is quite low so that it's not going to be harming the pumas or any other wildlife. It also pulses so there is no, pretty much no fire risk associated with the turboflagery. To make sure that we are capturing um, how different wildlife interact with the flagery, we have a few different cameras set up around the perimeter of the turbo flagery to see how animals interact with it. Do they cross the line? Do they back away? Do they stand there for a while? We're trying to see how do they engage with this tool um, and is it effective? On these cameras, we capture a variety of different animals coming and going. We've had skunks, possums, bobcats, pumas, coyotes. So this camera, I just unlocked it and am checking the batteries and the SD card to make sure that they're up and running correctly. As you can see, I have this camera quite low to the ground. And one of the reasons why is this location is sloped and I'm trying to capture animal height along the turboflagery. So this here is a uh, foxite, which is a deterrent uh, that we are testing here for our project. Um, it is a light sensitive device and it is solar paneled. So you can attach this to a tree or a fence post. And when the sun sets, this starts flashing random colors throughout the night. And then when the sun rises, it turns off. Um, the idea is that it is a visual deterrent for carnivores that might be approaching. As we continue to develop and there's more people and more people going outside and there's new development within uh, wild spaces, we are going to see more human wildlife interactions. And I think it's really important to begin addressing that now, which is why I'm excited to be on this project, learning what is effective with keeping um, coexistence with carnivores.